Hello, it's me again. I just felt the need to give this message. I feel like there's someone who needs this message. There's someone who feels like they've been sick for so long. They feel like because they're in a wheelchair uh, or they've been in a wheelchair for so many years or because the doctors have told them the diagnosis is really bad, they have a rare uh, disease or the prognosis says this is how you're going to end up hmm. whose report will you believe God's report or man's report so I just hope that I can encourage you I've been walking this, lock, this walk for a pretty long time I could have given up many times a long time ago but I'll go down to the grave saying I'm healed <laughs> Because I know the God I serve, and I've seen him in action, and I felt his power, and I know he is true to his word. God, in fact, says he's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. I'm going to put all these scriptures up on Facebook, maybe tomorrow or the day after, so you can see it for yourself. But it doesn't matter how long you have been dealing with the symptoms, the pain, whatever. There's a few things though that we need to be sure that we're doing. Something I realized I was not doing just recently. Um, speaking. Gotta be careful with the words of your tongue. The Bible says the power of death and life. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. That's what it says. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof so you love your words probably so if you're speaking them you're speaking them with a passion and you're believing it in your heart and you're going to eat the fruit thereof so in other words you're going to eat your words so make sure that you're speaking even if you haven't Learn all how to do everything that you should do to call health to your body. Get your words. Start with that. Get your words in line. Because everything will start to line up with that. With your words. With your words, your heart needs to line up. What do you feel passionate about in your heart? As a man thinketh in his heart, and of course we know that means woman too, so is he or she. What do you think in your heart? What do you really believe? Do you really believe you're healed? Keep on speaking it because eventually in your heart you will believe that. Read God's word. Hold on to it. Pray often. Read his word daily. Because how can you receive it if you don't read it? If you aren't reading God's word. How do you even know his word if you're not reading it? Be sure to be reading his word. Believe it in your heart that you're healed. Um, what else I want to talk about? Growing a thick skin, okay? If we're As faith walkers, we're going to have to have a thick skin. Uh, walking this walk of faith, I've been walking it for hmm, 12, 11, 2000, 2002. 2010, that's eight, I think 10 years now, 11 years, since 2002 anyway, I've been walking this walk of faith, and when I first began believing God for my healing, I was believing God is going to heal me, like future tense, going to, God told me in 2003, April of 2003, the first time I heard God speak to me, Receive your healing now. Pastor Soul Winner said to me, If I were to have a car sitting in the driveway for you and say, This is your car, open your hands, drop the keys in your hands, receive the keys. You go drive off in your new car, right? You received it just like that. Just receive it just like that. Christ paid it all, He did it all for us. So just receive it. Now along with that receiving something, faith without works is dead. Okay? So if you are 
like uh did i already say calling sickness to yourself saying things like my illness my disease my arthritis my multiple sclerosis oh this pain this pain all oh, the pain dr smith from lost in space he cracks me up i'm learning daily that's one of the things i kept doing i'm oh my back hurt my back hurt my back hurt well the reality of it is yes i feel pain feel you know with my emotions my senses but the truth is i'm healed already i feel no pain you have to speak the truth god's truth for you so stop calling things the bible says we have the power to call those things that be not as though they were because we are made in god's image and that's what god did when he created this earth he called those things that be not as though they were let there be light and light appeared what else did i want to talk about uh your words okay speak health speak life your thoughts your heart what does your heart believe what are your thoughts that's what you're passionate about that's what you're calling to yourself these people that believe in the secret there's no secret these are just the laws of god natural and spiritual laws that god created that have been in place from the beginning of time okay abide by it and you'll see the fruit of it there are people who don't even believe in christ Guess what? They're living healthy lives and prosperous because they are abiding by God's laws and don't even know that they are. They don't even believe in God. But hey, they they everybody is affected by them. Everybody. Um so hmm. If you're eating Big Macs, Filet of Fish, quarter pound of French fries, icy coke, milkshake, sundaes, and apple pie every day. Hmm, let's say you were doing that every day and Lord bless this Big Mac bless this french fries Lord take all the salt out all the sugar all the cholesterol oh Lord take all the poison out all the excitotoxins artificial colors and flavors bless this food Lord let it be nourishment for my body come on now um, you still gonna get fat you're still going to get high blood pressure and diabetes and cholesterol messing around eating like that. You got to abide by God's natural laws. He told us how to eat in Genesis 1 and 29. Try to get all this time, get this all in before I run out of time. But you want to abide by that. Uh, let's see. Speaking, thinking, heart, uh, faith. God says in Romans 10 11 God's believers will not be disappointed will not be ashamed keep believing keep on running and pressing for that prize get a thick skin put yourself around supportive people people who believe and think like you do um, doesn't matter how long get in God's word let your actions line up with your faith faith without works is dead you have this faith, but you keep on poisoning yourself. You keep on hanging around with the wrong people. You keep on spending all your money, going in debt. Um, you keep on saying ain't no good men, ain't no good women out there. That's why you single. That's why you ain't got nobody. You better start calling those things that be not as though they were. My husband is coming and soon. Start speaking it. Mm, all this nine minutes. I think that's all I have to say. Hmm, let's see then. Well, of course, I'll be like Ben, La ben Laden. And I'll just pop up with another video if I have to. But that's all for this evening. I need to go to sleep. I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I'm saying all this because I've been dealing with multiple sclerosis was the diagnosis for all who didn't know that. I was diagnosed in 2002, had my first symptoms in 2001. I'll go to the grave believing that I am healed and healed already. I believe God. God is true. So that's all. But I'll be walking in all those things and normal. And I'm normal already uh, before I even go to the grave. But, you know, that's where my...